The Food and Drug Administration is warning dog owners tonight that some grain-free pet foods could be linked to heart disease in dogs. NBC 4's Tyler Carter spoke with a local vet who says pet owners should take this warning very seriously. The FDA's recent report saying that a grain-free diet based with peas, lentils, or potatoes can cause an unusual condition to enlarge a dog's heart. Now, this news is making it confusing for some pet owners who were told to keep their dogs on a grain-free diet. Come here. It's feeding time at the Boren household. Ten seven-week-old puppies chowed down on their second meal of the day. It's an animal party in Ed Boren's house. With a handful of his own pets, plus the ones he and his wife foster, dog food leaves out in bags in this home. My wife was the one that did the research, but it was a mixture of what's the highest quality, best value food. For us, it was Costco was the one we ended up with, and it was lower on grains. But are you really protecting your pet by feeding them a grain-free diet? The FDA says no. In its recent report, it claims that a grain-free diet could be linked to diluted cardiomyopathy or or DCM. Rebecca Schwarz, veterinarian at Animal Care Center of Polaris, says it could be both a genetic disposition and the diet fed to your dog that could lead to DCM. The classic dog that we think of associated with dilated cardiomyopathy is a, is a Doberman, um, that they are genetically predisposed to getting that. She says one concern is a deficiency in an amino acid called taurin, a building block of protein. In the case of dogs, they're able to make taurin from the ingredients that they get from their diet um, can predispose these dogs for getting heart disease in the future. So what should we be feeding our pets and how safe is a grain-free diet? Each pet's medical conditions or specific age or their lifestyle is going to determine which diet is the best route for that pet. She says there are some things dog owners can look out for. Decreased energy, coughing, difficulty breathing, and episodes of collapsing. Now the FDA did not name any specific dog food brands in its warning, but they say to make sure that you check with your vet to make sure that you're feeding your dog the best dog food for its specific lifestyle. Local for you, Tyler Carter, NBC4.